as many of you know, I just recently took a group of persons to civil court, small claims uh, court. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, do you really believe after all the drama that I had to go through for 10 years, do you really believe, even though it's not a criminal case, do you really believe that myself really want to go to court for any reason? <laughs> We know how court and what some of us do. We know court is not a, 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 a pleasant place to be. There are some of us, we would rather plead guilty and pay the fine or whatever. I don't want to go to court. You got to stand in line and they send papers to your to your house you are hereby ordered on June 29th to appear in court before Judge Shomakoff <laughs> on this parking ticket or, or whatever it is going to court is not a pleasant experience because you have somebody judging you they don't know you But they have been given the duty to judge you. And these are human beings. Some of these judges don't like women. Some of these judges don't like men. Some of these judges don't like transgender people. Some of these judges don't like black folks. Some of these judges don't like white folks. Some of these, they, some of these judges don't like the fact that you wore white to court today. Some of these judges might be in a bad attitude. Because they got into it with a, a husband or wife or their children before they came to, to work. Because that's a job for them. And they judge your case. Or a jury. Men and women supposed to be of your peers. Who don't know you. They get to determine whether or not you get the death penalty. So going to court is not a thrill. It is not something people want to volunteer. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, go to court. Especially when you are involved in serious cases like criminal cases. Well, even a civil case is, is, uh, is a serious case because you might be in a car accident. And you need to win your money because you was not at fault. And these people tore up your car and mess your body up. Nobody wants to go through all that court court stuff. So you have these YouTubers, people on social media. We're going to say YouTube. They just nonchalantly. You slandered me. That's libel. You don't know the law. I'm going to take you to court. Most of the time, they're just talking. Now, I have proven I don't talk. If I know your name, I get your address. You make an accusation I know is a lie. Well, then you need to go to court before a judge. And really, that's what I was forced to do. Because we were minding our own business. And we decided to just let things go. Our thing on this platform was, after purge comes the healing. We want to be 
motivational. We want to be inspiring. We want to be positive. We want better because we had we had enough negativity from 2021. We did not want to go into 2022 doing the same stuff. But there are those who can't let nothing go. Hell raisers, troublemakers. And they followed us into 2022 with their foolishness, their slander and their gossip and their lies. You would think after being on Moorish World TV, shout out to Tahaka Bay and Moorish World TV, you would think after messing with Sister Nandi, shout out to Sister Nandi and her platform, you would think that these jokesters had enough, but there are those who are, they are glutton for punishment. They just got to keep going. So, I had no choice. Because we need to be vindicated. I had no choice. The civil court is not YouTube. You can run your mouth and you can say whatever you want to. I, I know the law. No, you don't. And the judge in court will let you know real quick. You don't know. Now, for me, I'm so happy that I learned the skill because I was able to fight my enemies. And I got them to back off. It had nothing to do with winning money. It was, it was using the legal system as a weapon. Because I didn't have a weapon. Everything was on their side. So when I learned the law. And got to suing these people. Now if you want me locked up. You want me incarcerated. Well guess what. You got to earn it. I'm going to give you trouble. I'm going to sue you for, for anything. I'm going to sue you because the mouse ran across the floor. Now some of you might think that's nothing. But when you are a doctor or police officer. And even though we go to court. They throw the case out. If those any of those doctors that mess with me. If they ever get sued by somebody. My case is going to be there and they're going to use my complaint to help their complaint. It makes a doctor look bad. And those people got sick and tired of me. Let them go. I don't care. Go away. Now, for those who might want to try to take somebody to court, you have two options. I heard somebody talk about the federal court. The federal court will dismiss and throw out your case quicker than the state court. They don't have time for, for you to, you call me a booby head. That's slander. I'm not a booby head. The federal court like, what is this garbage? They have an avenue for us to be silly if we want to. That's small claims court. That's what you see on TV. Small claims court. You have a right to take your case to court. So many people waste their money. I learned how to file the case for, for free. But filing the case can cost you from $250, $300 or whatever. But everybody has the right to the court system, have access to the court system. And if you know how, you can do it 
You can do it pro se, and you can do it free of charge. You file your... I want to give a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just telling you my experience, what I've done. And filing a case in federal court, their qualifications is up is on a much higher level. They will throw your case out quick. They don't have time for it. But you can take them to small claims. And you might win. Who knows? But no judge, they don't want to hear stuff like um, uh, hey, they call me the escape mental patient, it, 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 silly stuff, uh, the doo doo lady, uh, uh, you know, all these, this crap that we call ourselves, you know, that's slander, defamation of character. When you are a public figure, you have to take the bad with the good. There are those who will like you, and there will be those. Who might hate your guts. And they will make videos. Slamming you. Michael Jackson is a perfect example. Michael Jackson. World's greatest entertainer. But there are those who don't like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is a pedophile. Michael Jackson is a homosexual. Wacko Jacko. You have to take the bad with the good. Michael Jackson can't sit around because people, I mean, it, it's, it's endless. Everybody he see says something he don't like, make fun of him or whatever. There's something called satire. Comedians are allowed to be, uh, practice uh, satire. You know, make fun of people or whatever. Unless you Chris Rock. <laughs> if you Chris Rock, the husband might walk up on the stage and punch you in your, in your face. <laughs> Unless you Chris Rock. Chris Rock is denied satire. He can't do that. We can make, when you become a, a public figure, somebody can make a channel only about you, talking negative about you, that's what their whole channel is about. We are, we become public figures. That's just how it go. Many people don't make videos. Many people don't show their face. They can't handle it. Somebody like Alquan the Troll, he can run his mouth hiding behind a computer screen, but he's not brave enough. He's not bold enough. He can't, he can't handle what Angel Snup Nup 7 handled. That's the that's a part of public life. It doesn't bother me. I even put the, the videos that people talk about me, I put them on my channel. Listen to them. They only make themselves look bad because I'm not what they're talking about. In Hollywood, they say. All publicity is good publicity. I don't care. But if you really are serious about filing a case, your best bet is just simple, small claims court. You're not going to get, I'm telling you, you're not going to get anywhere with social media gossip and slander, name call, that. The federal court is not going to listen to that. Unless your evidence is really, really powerful. And most of it, I already know, it, it, it's not. So that's my take. Jot down your comments. I'll catch you on the next one.